Yo, yo, what's going on, you guys? We're Devon Tarot in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon raw tutorial, I'll be showing you guys what midside EQ is. Now, what is midside EQ? Long story short, to not get technical or to not get deep into this and just get you off and running right now, a midside EQ is different from your traditional left right EQ or stereo EQ. Long story short, the midside EQ allows you to affect the middle information of your sound source different from the side information of your sound source, allowing you to have somewhat of a cool stereo uh, image or so many different things, cleaning up headroom just on your sides or making the side information feel brighter than the middle. There's so many powerful ways or reasons that you can use this midside EQ. So just keep it in your head that the midside EQ allows you to affect EQ wise the middle information of your mix differently from the side information of your mix. Now granted, Typically, when you think of side information, I think about brightness or I think about high end or uh, those things that are panned out hard left, hard right as far as big, big, big uh, stereo images. And when I think about middle information, I think about my vocals, I think about my kicks, I think about bass, I think about all those things that are supposed to sit right here. So now midside EQ is going to give you the opportunity and ability to affect that middle information different from that side information. Meaning that if you just want to boost the brightness of the middle, you can. If you just want to take out the low in on the sides, you can. Okay. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe and like this video to keep this channel alive and thriving. I'd really appreciate it. You can also head over to helpmedevon.info for templates. We have them available in Pro Tools, Logic, Ableton, Studio One, and FL Studio. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what uh, midside EQ I use. So the midside EQ I use is uh, from Isotope Ozone 7. Yes, I am late and I'm way behind, but I'm just so enthralled into this uh, particular midside EQ. So of course, there's a ton of different ones out there. Okay, so check this out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this song and I'm gonna let you hear just the side information so you can understand or hear what the side information is. So I go right on over here to my EQ, midside EQ, and I'm gonna press S or solo on the sides. Check this out. So that's literally just my side information by itself. Now let's take a listen to our middle information. Blessings, shout out all my exes. I see now that I was headed in the wrong direction. Okay, now let's take that off and let us hear what it completely sounds like, the middles and the sides. Listen to the full spectrum. Blessings, shout out all my exes. I see now that I was headed in the wrong Okay, so that was the full spectrum of it. You heard the sides, the middle, and the um, uh, the full and the full spectrum. So, how do you use midside EQ? Why do I want to use this thing? Okay, well, say for instance like this: when it comes to side information, right? I really don't want low end on that side information. When I say low end, I'm talking about stuff like 80 hertz and below. I really don't want that stuff on my sides. I want my instruments. I want my brightness. I want my clarity and everything to be cutting through when it comes to my side information. I really want that middle information to be more prevalent with, when it comes to bass and when it comes to my kick and when it comes to low end. I really want that to reside in that middle. So when it comes to the side information, I really like to take some of that stuff off. And what the result gives you is a cleaner mix, more headroom, and just a better product. So check this out. So I'm gonna put this high pass here, right? on my side information. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this from here and I'm gonna roll it all the way off just to give you an idea of what it's doing. So solo it, check this out. Okay, I'm gonna let you hear this in the mix. Check this out. Blessings, shout out all my exes. I see now that I was headed in the wrong direction. Okay, what we did was we rolled off a ton of low end. Now, I wouldn't do this, I'm gonna show you. I'm just exaggerating to give you an idea of what this thing could do. So I'm gonna bypass this back and forth to give you an idea of what this EQ, rolling off a ton of the low end on the sides, just did. Check it out. Bypass first. Blessings, shout out all my exes. I see now that I was headed in the wrong direction. I'ma come up, better take the stairs when you run up. It's my party, go turn up. We still cool like what up, yeah. 
Okay, what you did notice was that the mix got cleaner. It sounded, uh, as far as the brightness, it got a little bit more clarity out of the mix and the whole nine. But if we look at our meters, you'll notice that I got a lot more headroom by clearing up that low end. Now, to be honest, what I do is I roll off about up to the, about the 80 hertz range. That's typically where I like to roll off my side information. About 80 hertz, I like to roll that stuff off because I really don't need it in my mix or want it for that matter. And what it does is it gives me a little bit more clarity, helps the song pop a little more as far as the vocals and the instruments. And there's one last thing I like to do with my mid-side EQ. One of the things I like to do is I like to boost the high end on the sides. And the reason why I like to do this is because it gives me a little bit of a cleaner or doper stereo image. I like to boost the high end on my side information. So let's solo this. And it's very, very subtle. I don't do a big, big move, just a very subtle thing, but I will exaggerate so you can hear what it sounds like. Check this out. Okay, great. Now, I'm gonna bypass this whole thing back and forth in the mix to give you an idea of what it just did. So I boosted the high end, rolled off some of the low end on the side information. Let's see what that affected. So bypass. Blessings, shout out all my exes. I see now that I was headed in the wrong direction. I'ma come up, better take the stairs and you run up. This is my party, go turn up. We still cool like what up, yeah. But I got a whole new swag, yeah. And I'm in a brand new bag, yeah, yeah. So to me, it feels stronger. The vocals feel stronger. Like it just feels like it has more presence and it feels more commanding in the mix. And then when I look at my meters, I can probably get more loudness out of this entire mix because I have more headroom that I've rolled off from the sides. Now, last thing I'll show you is what you could do with the middle. Now say for instance that you feel like the vocal is lacking or you feel like something in the middle which is probably the vocal or the snare or, um, or, or the kick or something like that needs to be brought up a little bit. So what you could do is you could affect that by itself, just solely by itself. You could affect that middle information by itself. So let's check this out right here. Let's take this and just boost the crap out of this in the middle. So let's solo this middle. We're soloing the middle section and we're gonna boost it. Check this out. Blessings, shout out all my exes. I see now that I was headed in the wrong direction. Okay, so you see, we just boosted the entire middle section, right, of the mids, if that makes any sense, and follow along with me. We boosted 2.3 dB at the one kilohertz frequency range. So basically that mid range where I wanted the vocals to pop a little more, we boosted that entire range just now. Now say for instance, the kick is also there as you hear. Let's say for instance, I wanna boost the kick range as well to get a little bit more pop out of that middle of the kick. So let's go on over to the typical range, which is about 60, 80 hertz, and let's see what happens. Let's boost the kick in the middle. Blessings, shout out all my exes. I see now that I was headed in the wrong direction. I'ma come up, better take the stairs when you run up. This is my party, go turn up. We still cool like what up, yeah. But I got a whole new swag, yeah. And I'm in a brand new bag, yeah, yeah. So obviously when I have it engaged, you hear that kick hit a lot harder. So now, now that we've boosted the kick and the vocals in the middle and we boosted the side information on the high side and rolled off some of the information on the side on the high on the side side, let's bypass this whole thing and see what we just created. So without first, so bypass. And then I'll keep bypassing it back and forth. Listen. Blessings, shout out all my exes. I see now that I was headed in the wrong direction. I'ma come up. Better take the stairs when you run up. This is my party, go turn up. And now I have a mix that hits harder, I have a vocal that is stronger, and I feel like the sound effects, the instruments, those airy sounds sound even, uh, have this more stereo feel to them. And that's what you can do by just doing some simple, simple tweaks with a mid-side EQ, affecting your side information differently how you affect 
your middle information. And I like to use this a lot in mastering. Now, granted, I probably wouldn't make big, big moves like this in mastering. I probably only go a DB on things and the roll off, I would do that typically on my sides. But you can use this however you want to get how uh, whatever you want in your masters and your mixes. You can use this on vocals to boost the high end on the sides of the vocals and just boost the middle in, uh, in information on the vocal. It's so powerful how you can use mid-side EQ to accomplish some incredible things. There is a ton of mid-side EQs out there in the description or in the comments below. Let me know some of your favorite ones that you like to use and I'll check them out as well. So that was my tutorial on basically how or what is mid-side EQ and using it. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe to keep this channel alive. You can also visit helpmedevon.info for our templates available for all pretty much all DAWs. Make sure you follow us at Help Me Devon on the Instagram and make sure you join our community. The link is below with our Discord uh, community where you can talk to other people from this channel and basically shoot the shoot the stuff you know you can talk to each other get to know each other and also get some really useful information that i'm in there personally always giving and um until next time you guys